Assembling. Now we're going to attach this roll bar. Nice. Sure beats working on shocks, I would say. So, yeah. So, we need uh, one of these guys and one of these guys. If you're wondering. 10 millimeter screw and a washer. We'll start. I just get these started here. Somehow or another. Uh, somewhere. There we go. Start that one. Oh, I thought I had it started. Can't see anything. There we go. Got that one started. Now, uh, let's see here. I want another one of these guys. See that? Another washer. Right here, so we have the rear part of the roll cage, I should say the lower part. Oh, pretty tough. Almost seems as though that hole is not quite lined up there. Let's have a look here. Yeah, that's wild. One of the things we do in the modeling community. Hopefully you could take a good look at this here. What we're looking at here is this hole right here. Should be lining up inside there. As you can see, it's not. So it's almost like the front of that needs to be trimmed. I don't want to get into that right now. If I can just catch this just enough. Not happening. Not happening at all. Alright, well. Goody. Looks like it should go, but guess what? It's not happening. Let's try this once more before I get carving tools out. If you know what I'm saying. Well, so some carving tools may be in order. But I gotta think I think I got a way to fix that. So yeah. Barely. Go figure that one. Alright, folks, I'll be right back. Alright, what I had to do here, these holes, these holes on this plastic, are supposed to screw into there, one on each side, okay? Well, they weren't lining up. It's almost like this plastic here right here is too long so instead of cutting this off and making it all look gnarly I just use my body uh, reamer right here the trusty body reamer see that don't play with these kids and I just open the hole a little bit now it looks as though they're gonna line right up let's uh, test that theory Or 
or not. Well, this is a stubborn one here. That is uh, wild. Well, let me get this one mounted if I can. Well, is this cumbersome? All right. Ah, well, that one starts right up. So yeah. Looks like that should do it. Looks like it lined up pretty pretty good. Anyway, good enough. I'm trying to keep you guys with me here in the frame. I should say me stay in the frame. There we go. Wow. I think maybe I want to go do some more shocks after this. next it says uh, oh yeah there we are uh, BC3 I'm talking to myself now I am so we have this guy this guy and uh, yeah one of these you see what I'm doing I'm assembling shock sleeve nut Like so, you see that? All right, then they're gonna screw right inside that hole there. Okay, well, maybe I should use a little Loctite on them just a bit. It's always a good idea. Metal into aluminum, you know, it doesn't hurt to put a spot of uh, blue Loctite, folks. Stay away from the red, use red, you're dead. Oh, the good red stuff, anyway. Alright. Be right back, folks. I just want to have a little bit ahead of you guys. Uh, just a bit. I'm having trouble with all these holes lining up. But as you can see, we have the shocks on. Okay. The only thing we need to do is put the uh, lock nuts on for the top. And then uh, we'll do that right now. Get your trusty 5.5 uh, millimeter. Uh, no need for Loctite here. These are lock nuts. Put this over here so you can see. Well, just so you know, also... Each one of these corners of these shocks have a sleeve that go in here. You can see that. A sleeve in there. Just a little tubular sleeve. Protects the bushing. Tightens things up. And I did put a little grease inside. Alright. There we are. Another step down. So let's see where these instructions take us next. Alright, oh wow, exciting. We're going to be installing a chassis next. So yeah, let me pull the parts out for that and uh, I'll be right back. Alright, let's uh, install the uh, chassis. Again, let's not forget our Loctite. These little rosettes here, these little aluminum rosettes, kind of cool. So I should use a tool that works, huh? And that was not it either. Find the tool cab. Found it. Sorry about that. Just a dab. Will do ya. Just do need the dab first. That's enough for a couple of them. So I'll just rub it off on there, huh? And uh, a little for you too. So yeah, let's get to this. I'd like to 
see, but I can't. Amazing. Oh yeah, there we go. It wasn't so bad. We'll just drop this one down in place for a moment. There's three, two different size screws. Two of these shorties, which are uh, nine millimeters or eight millimeters. I'm sorry. And a twelve millimeter. Twelve millimeter goes into the middle hole. The two shorties screw right into your rear drive. Then this one goes up like so. It gets one of these well nuts put right on there. Into the middle one here. Like so. It fits. Seems like that's a little. We can screw this in. Alright, another one, another little one, yeah, so what happens, when I screwed that in there, kind of sucked it down in there and made a nice, like, vib anti-vibration, -vibra that's, uh, quite cool, and, uh, yeah, we start locking our torsion bars into place here, very cool, alright, moving on, I, I gotta pull out some more parts for step 10. It looks pretty involved. So, uh, trust me, you'll build one with me. 